We have a whole bunch of stoles. Oh, oh shit! Jesus, fly your drone in here. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are making our return to explore one of the largest abandoned mines in the southwest. After some research following our first visit, we believe we only saw about 10-15% to 15 of the total workings in this mine. With all the workings combined, there are miles and miles of drifts and stopes in this mine. Some of the stopes were so large, our seemingly bright flashlights could barely allow us to see in. We surely tested ourselves in this video. The mine just seemed to keep on going. And the further down we got, the more artifacts started appearing. In this mine, we found some of the most rare artifacts you can possibly find while mine exploring. Tell me, tell me what it is though. Uh, it's a pair of pads. <gasps> now let's start this video from ground zero and let's see what we can find. I'm gonna start a video, bro. <laughs> All right guys, welcome back to another video. We're gonna head down here. Doesn't look too steep, um, but we're gonna check out this smaller stope. So this is one of the, I'm guessing maybe eight stopes, eight open stopes that are like this. So we're probably gonna go one by one, check out each of them, see what's going on down there, and see what we find. All right, we're making our way down the open stope here. And that's where we're going. So, as soon as I get down to maybe this little ledge right here, I'll turn you guys back on. Alright, so we're currently trying to nag our way down to this uh, stoop here. It's flat, about 10 feet below. Alright, and we're down. Wow. So, throughout this entire stope, they had this wooden cribbing going on the entire way. I've never seen them before. Okay. So this actually goes down through an ore chute. Just stay to the side. Well, let's see how bad this horseshoe looks to go through. Uh, oopsie. Oh, there's another horseshoe there. That's freaking cool. Whoa. Looks like it keeps going down there, so it doesn't look too far of a drop, so maybe it'll drop down that ore chute. Uh, it keeps going over there, too. But this is really freaking cool. So here's looking directly down that ore chute. Uh, it looks climbable. So, yeah, unless we can get down maybe an easier way over here, but. Oh, there's another rope here. Yeah. I'll probably go down this ore chute. Alright, so... So we're on this ladder right now. This goes down to a level and there's track here. Which is pretty cool. I got. Okay. Yep. So there's actually daylight here, which is really cool. Oh. And there is an ore car. Oh, wow. We have a chassis here. We have actually an extra set of wheels. We have this ore car. Heavy. It's 
kind of buried. All right, let's keep exploring this level. And we do pick up track again here. faces off but judging by all the brush here how oh, it goes up to the surface got a skull here what do you guys think that is interesting all right so we're back at the work car here you got it Jared come you on can Carl do you can do it come on I'm gonna use my back no, I can't do it. Really. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can do it. Uh, oh. Can he curl it? Oh. I know, it's just hard. It's hard because it's also you gotta so close use together. Your <laughs> Most of the time we find wheels missing to ore cars, but oddly enough, this time only the tub was missing. The reason why the wheels are normally the first ones to go is because scrappers like how dense the metal is, which makes them worth more. But not this time. With the pieces that were left, we were able to organize some of it back together. There you go. Let go of it. You also need some weight on it too. This is literally the pivot in the back too. Oh, dude. Yeah, you're right. Probably. Yes. We just slid down a bunch of people. Dude, that's definitely gonna work. That's gonna hold if you tie that tight. Might work. Hey, you go. Roll on the ceiling. Somebody give me a overweight touch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll pull. Yeah. Put your weight towards the back of the one. All right, you ready? Yeah. Mind surfing, boys. Hell yeah. It's too much dirt here. You gotta dig out the, the rail a little bit. Stick it all out. Try to kick it. That should be good. I'll get on it. I'll hold it in place. I'm still going. You gotta move the rope. Oh, it's Whoa. the track. Yeah, it ends at one point. Alright, that was sick. Let's time it so we can find out sometime. Try again. Uh, Maybe this will be easier. Oh. Get a push. Here, Jerry. One, two, three. Where are we trying to roll this? Is it on the track? Keep going. Keep going. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, Bro. <laughs> if we can roll it maybe to just that spot over there, that'd be pretty cool. Let's push it right behind his face. Because it's the most. Alright, move photo time. I'm ready. 
<clears throat> All right, guys, we just finished up taking a whole bunch of pictures. These and videos. And videos of these ore cars. Ore cars are always my favorite find. If we found a tub somewhere around here, we could plop the tub right on top of this one and actually have two ore cars, which is yeah, you know, insane. We got like pieces of the frame like this, uh -huh. these parts with the rivets, like right over there. Yeah. But like the body itself, I don't know. Yeah, the body itself. Might, might be down there. Actually, that might be. But as you can see, that is daylight just down there, about uh, 50 feet, maybe 40 feet. And the ore car is literally right here. I can't believe this stuff is all still here. It's actually fairly easy easy to accept access this uh, part of the mine. And we've got an ore chute here. That's the ladder we came down. And the ore car itself. Alright guys, where Jareth is, the ore car is back behind there, so now we're in this big open stope here, obviously daylight, but this is freaking incredible. Nice. Super cool. Alright. So this is pretty cool. We have a whole bunch of stoles. It looks super neat. So we're moving on. And it looks like we're actually walking on top of a level. So right below us would actually be a level. And apparently there is trap under here. I guess we have to kind of walk across this. So there's all the stoles back there. Um, this was actually once a level. We actually explored this uh, four months ago, but we didn't do that ore car over there, so we're actually going to head back to the same place that we were at last time and uh, actually explore the entire thing. So I'm pretty sure we've done these tunnels. Uh, not, I can't exactly remember how much of them we did, but we would like to make our way down these stopes here. Looks a lot steeper on camera than it actually is, but we could probably finagle our way down here. There's also another way back where my friends are. And uh, this is a really cool mine because the rail goes through the entire thing, which is surprisingly actually kind of rare. But we have these super cool ore chutes braced by all these uh, tree trunks. So, honestly, I don't really remember going, coming this way. There's a little bit of a collapse here. Oh, yeah, I kind of remember this. Yeah, so we're going to circle back, and uh, we're going to see if we can get down a little bit lower to some of the lower levels. So I'll see you over there. There's a roller right here. If you don't Dude, know there's a where roller, it's probably like three feet right here. It like right across the the it's a metal one, too. Yeah. So, right now we're walking on a false floor. And this looks like this goes uh, maybe 25 feet from where I am. So, we're still on the same level where we are. And holy crap, that goes down probably 150 feet. That goes always. 
So we are finally back to where Jareth and I were exploring the first time we were here. Since we explored all of the drifts on this level in the last video, the only new territory we have left is to go down. Jareth ended up going first, so now it's time to fire up that GoPro and let's see what else we can find in this massive mine. Alright guys, so... Sorry to film the start of this, but right here is the level that we were all just walking on. And so I kind of finagled my way down here. And uh, here's this uh, skip ladder. So there used to be a skip a skip car or maybe even a skip bucket on this thing. So we're gonna go down here and see what's going on. Jareth is already down here. There's a little creaky of this section. We're almost down to the bottom here. Keeps going down. It's going to be really dusty down here. Wow. Got little pieces of a DuPont box here. sure which way to go here. Oh, there's not much going on here. Hmm. Oh, this is pretty cool. I guess it was worth it. This has got to be an old bottle. Hello? Jareth? It says uh, A, B. Anyway, let's keep moving. I have a feeling this might go to an ore shoot. Can't see anything. What's up? Dude, what do you find? I found it. Thank you, bro. Really? It's huge. Really? 
Oh, yeah? You'll never believe it. Oh. You will never believe Should I have brought my camera? Because I didn't bring it. Oh my god. Yeah, no, no, dude. We need... I need my backpack. Where's your backpack? <laughs> it's up there. I didn't see it. Oh, it's all the way at the top? Hold on. It's about to get really dusty. Um, you should grab your camera, honestly. But yeah. I need to get my batteries. Cause tell, me, tell me what it is, though. Oh, it's a pair of pants. <gasps> really? Dude, there's a whole dynamite box. There's like hundreds of pieces of dynamite box sides. There's Did you like a 200 foot plus stove. Yeah. That one. Dude. Dude. Are those Levi's? No. No, sure, I don't think they are, but they're really f***ing old. Wow. They got the rivets. Look at all these duke pot sides. Oh my fuck. Here, let's get out of the dust. I can't see shit. Oh my god. You even found an ore car? No? Oh my god, it's so dusty. Dude. A full pair of pants, dude. That's insane. After sitting in dust for over 100 years, it was tough to read the label. But after a couple of minutes, we were able to rub some of the dust off we were able to make out that this was a pair of Stronghold brand jeans. After our trip, we immediately did some research and we believe these Stronghold brand jeans date to around the 1910s. This was the first pair of denim jeans any of us have ever found. There's a giant uh, box up here. I had to dig it out of the wood. Can you get past all this collapse up here? Oh yeah, so it actually ends over here, though. Just okay. Let me show you this. Um... Oh, there's even more clothing. What? Fucking got buttons and everything. This. Oh, think... uh, that's burlap. Is this, an... is this a top? That's a top. Yeah. Dude. Dude. This place is. You should see this stove. Uh huh. It might be bigger than like War Eagle and like really? it's bigger than Ruth. Dude, really? It looked like a hundred feet wide. Oh my god. I was like Oh, oh yeah, there's the full box. I dug it out of there. Yeah. You see all the shit in it? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh it's so heavy. Oh. If you look on the side it says giant. Wow. Right That's actually so heavy. Oh, it ends probably like after that. I think it ends in like. Did you go the other way too? Yeah, I went the other way. Uh huh. But then uh, there was like a. So you know how usually the rails cross over some voids? Yeah. There was just a void in the middle. Okay. Like no way to go around it. It looked like. But kept Jeez. going. There's so many manways up here. Mm -hmm. That's it. But dude, there's so many diamond box pieces to the right. Oh yeah. Millions. Look at all these boxes, damn. That's insane. But, but there's no hole. They're all smashed. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Collapse over there. <gasps> yeah, that's right. It, pff, the heck is this? This one. This thing right here. Oh. oh, look at all the dynamite wrapping paper. Look at all the instructions everywhere. Maybe it's to open the dynamite. Oh my. The pieces are everywhere. Oh, this. Uh. I think you can climb over this actually. Do you see anything? Yeah, no, you can definitely get past this. Uh let's let's come back to this. Let's keep going down. I wanna see that. Dude. 
Yeah. Because he's so far under the open steps. Whoa. It does look very similar though to the top levels. That's cool. Dude, there's like look at oh. this. Look at this dark. God, bro, that goes 200 Let me see if I can... Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Bro. Dude. You have a rock? Fly your drone in here. Yeah. Oh shit. Third. Oh fuck. Oh shit. I That's a big ass collapse. I feel bad. Bro, you get, keeps going to the right. Let go. Is there anything else down here? Yeah. <clears throat> it keeps going. Well, nothing like on the ground. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there's a bit of rope. Yeah. Get a better view than nothing. I see an opening down there. Holy. Jesus. That is awesome. That goes up. Oh yeah, and then here's where there's an open ass hole in the middle of the floor. Oh. You don't want to pull down that bitch. Bro, look. Jesus, dude, they just fing mined out the floor. Dude. <laughs> is there, does that end? No, that keeps going for Left? sure. Yeah, it definitely keeps going. Oh. Yeah. Can we cross? Yeah, we gotta make a big jump though. Bruh. <laughs> I think you could. So, you know what you could do is you could go up here and then you can go along the other side and then go down. Because uh, there is a there's a ladder here and you can walk across up there, oh, I'm pretty sure. Let me see what this looks like. Actually, should we do that? Oh or my should god. We do that later? We could literally crawl up this. Yeah. And then go Let's, up. um. Later. I want to go down the right side, and then maybe we come back to this one. <laughs> Jesus. That's so sketch. A bottle? Oh, yeah, I found a full bottle. Oh, it's not that old, but it's kind of cool. A full bottle? Yeah, there was a full bottle. What kind of bottle? Uh, it said AB on it. Oh, AB? Yeah. <gasps> Wait, that's a beer bottle, bro. Was it aqua color? It was like a kind of greenish. Should we crawl through that? No. No? I kind of wanna. If you brawl, this opens to the surface. There's like cactus. Shit. Yeah. Wait, that looks really f***ing yeah. I know. Make it a little wider. Oh, that looks impossible, man. Oh, I really want to get past 
process. All right, I'm going back though. There's other ways to go. It just, it, get, it keeps getting too squeezy. There's no way. It definitely keeps going like a ways, but there's other ways to go, so. Oh, yo, I didn't even see that. Where? The rope ladder? Oh, yeah, the stupid rope ladder. You yeah, guys go right? right? Yeah, yeah, uh, we want to go up here, though. Alright, I don't get too close to that. Do you want to climb up here? What? Yes, yes. Alright, let's, really, really let's do it. That is the biggest stove I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And this is a false floor. Oh my god, dude, that is insane. I don't like touching these timbers, man. <coughs> but those are big timbers. I know. Yeah, big ass. Bro, Nick, this is the biggest bat down in your mind. Heads up, heads up, heads up, heads up. <laughs> Am I good to go? Yeah, you're good, you're good. This place is awesome, bro. It's a bit sketchy. I don't know. Oh my god. This is fing wild. Holy shit. Yo, oh, and I think I passed it. Yeah? Oh my, holy shit. Keep going down? Yeah, like this way. Yeah, let's keep Maybe going. That's probably a good shoot to come down. Yeah, this is a mess. What is that? Oh, never mind. That's just a piece of wood. It looks really weird, though. Oh my god. Is there a level still? No. no? It ends right here. But this goes down. I don't know how. Oh. So it ends here. Uh huh. But it keeps going that way. Alright, guys. Sorry, I had the camera turned off for a while here, but uh, we found some pretty cool stuff at those bottom levels. So now we're back on the main level that we kind of first started on and apparently down this drift uh, there's a ladder that goes up to the surface sorry we're not at the ladder yet but this is a cool split in the rail here looks like they had uh, some electrical stuff I remember this from last time 
all gone now, but... Yeah, the rail looks really cool in this area. Alright, so just a couple minutes later we've made it to the ladder. Going up. Don't use that step. Alright guys, time to head out. After about six hours of diving into this mine, we felt like we had seen pretty much everything that we could see without using any ropes gear. Now, I'm assuming that most of you are just as curious as I was about what's at the bottom of that giant glory hole. So we're definitely coming back for another trip out here to see what's down there. We are going to have to come much more prepared with our rigging gear to actually get down there. I mean, if we found a pair of jeans on a level that required no rope, just imagine what we might find down there when it's only accessible with rope. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell so that you don't miss a return trip into this incredible mine. Catch you guys in the next one.